Yeah. Sa universal. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, don't be shy. <laughs> How does it feel that you're going to have a uh, concert this year? It's like I said, it's a very big step up. Um, I'm so fortunate and I'm so lucky that Cornerstone has so much faith in me, has more faith in me than I do myself. I'm so, so, so lucky. I can't believe it. And do you have any preparations? Definitely. Um, I think, as many of you know, I'm a very shy person. So I'm going to do a lot of rehearsing, a lot of vocal coaching, you know, and all, all the work. I'm going to work hard for you. I was going to ask that because I don't know. We noticed you're very shy, very yes. and you're very shy. Do you be your typical showbiz person? You know, do you get tips from your uh, And mom. Yeah. Mom. It's not really tips. I think I just said um, from their example. Uh, Julia is a very well-spoken individual, and so is my mom. And I think just uh, speaking, hearing them, uh, uh, articulate themselves, and you know, I think that that to me is, is speaks more than like just advice. But also, if I need them, like I can always just come up to them, and it's and they're still the most reliable people in the world. Is bakit yung bakit yung nasabi kanina parang parang lately na realize mo na mas bet mo na yung pag yung air and oh yeah no kasi when I started uh, making music of course it's it's very natural as a new artist that uh, you kind of experiment and you're kind of figuring out your sound I think that's something a lot of us actually talk about artists um, we, we we talk about that like finding ourselves in music uh, so I think this was really uh, it was a very life-changing thing to release and make this EP because it gave me the direction that I want to uh, go in it helped me see that I, I best performed and felt and everything like uh, I, I felt best when it was more R&B inspired and I think that's why now I know the music that I'm going to pursue and now I know it's really going to come from the heart 100%. Like, anong, anong, like, anong specific R&B um, music? You know what? Actually, um, because I've been so focused on this EP and school, I'm still 80% a student. <laughs> At the moment, I'm graduating high school. Welcome. Senior high school. Ay, paano yun yung K-12? Senior high school. Um, uh, what, what was the question? <laughs> like, how, paano, paano ano mo sa, ano yung parang pinaka-favorite mo ngayon ng R&B music? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, R&B, I've always, always looked up to Kailani. In the Philippines, I really, really love Kailani. 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 Uh, and I try to act normal all the time, but I get so nervous around here. Um, but for my music, that's what I'm still trying to figure out. Is, uh, um, I've been working on the album, but really I've just been writing poems, and I, there's no beat, there's no nothing, and that's what I think I'm gonna venture into more this year. And humble ko lang kasi sorry. Ano to, I saw your parang an IG post where you cried when you saw it. Oh yeah. Any story? I'm, very, I'm a very emotional person. Like a while, I almost cried just because like I couldn't believe that I was around all these really talented people. Like, I cannot believe it. But with AJ Rafael, I, I remember watching his videos when I was like six years old. Oh my god. <laughs> I was six years old and I was watching his videos when covers were the biggest thing in the world. And that's when I already secretly knew I wanted to be a singer and no one in my family knew I wanted to be a singer. So when I heard him sing during soundcheck, I got so emotional. And and when I met him, of course, naturally, I got even more emotional. So I, I, it's, 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 sometimes I can't wrap my head around it because one, like, 12 years ago, I was watching his music videos and then 12 years later, I'm sharing the same stage with him. Did you get to talk to him? Yeah. Did you get to talk to him? What was his Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't even... I was so emotional. I was crying. I was so red. It was embarrassing. But then... Did you ask him if he was going to be a song? Not yet. You know, the, the whole concert thing was only revealed to me like a week ago. So to me, it's also a very big surprise. But I'm so, so, so fortunate. If ever, but... May dream ka ba na para sa nagawin namin to ni AJ? Just to sing any song with him would be an honor. So. <laughs>
this uh, whole big dream. It's just that. <laughs> Uh, you, uh, did you consider to do covers on mga YouTube and SoundCloud? I think I, I do want to I, I do covers by myself all the time. <laughs> I think I do want to do that. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I think when I I, I just want to keep releasing music and content for people. And for now, I think I, I really gravitated towards releasing originals. Mm -hmm. But covers are definitely something I think I will try. As you said na you're graduating this month this month ba? No, in June. Ah, in June. Yeah. So are you running for honors ba? Hopefully, I've been work I've been working hard in school and I've been working hard on this so hopefully it pays off. May course na ba for college or no, will it take a stop muna for the no, no, no. to college? Oh, yes. I'm going to continue studying. It's I'm not yet sure. And last na, um, a lot of a lot of social media fans appreciate that you're supporting him, but they're retweeting the of course. The Josh How's is like family already. Yeah, Josh is very close to my family, very close to uh, our family friends. Uh, he's a good person to be around. So our relationship with him, all of us, is very good. So of course, we show him our support, and he does, he supports me a lot also. So I think I just it's just right. To if, if there's going to be one song para sa Josh Lea, anong song na ito? If you're going to give a song for them. I think everyone knows their song is perfect by the song. Oh. Yung cute ng sister mo. Thank you. Thank you.